Hi everyone, welcome back. Let's pick one of these images to create it. And I think this one is okay to choose, or this one, or this one. Let's start with this one. All right, let's split the, the area to two, and let's change the editor to image editor. And let's put the image here. Just left click and drag, and let's put this right here. And there we go, now we have it. Let's see how can we create this. All right, let's start with the white uh, piece. All right, let's make this a bit smaller. All right, so let's see now what we can do. All right, now I have the, the cube. Let's take the cube up just a little bit. You can go to the front, hit number one, hit number one from the numpad, hit key and take this up to the ground. And let's tap to the edit mode and let's grab these vertices to take them down all right so hit g and z and let's grab those almost right here well we did that but we got a problem when we make the selection we just selected the front vertices not the back and we learned to switch to x-ray mode if we want to uh, select uh, vertices or faces in this way so go back hit Control z and now hit Alt Z to jump to the X-ray and now grab them like this. If you tumble around, as you see now, I just selected the four vertices and that's what I want. After that, hit Alt Z again to exit of the X-ray. Hit G and take those almost right here. Something like this. Let's go to X-ray Alt Z, grab those and push them just a little bit. Something like this. So I want to create this piece first it's a rectangle all right so maybe I can grab those as well don't forget I'm in the x-ray mode and take those up just a little bit right here all right that's cool let's grab those and let's push them just a little bit almost right here something like this and all right, so I got this result, and uh, now I need to add edges here. I need to make a cut here in this area and there as well, because I need to extrude the leg, those legs. Let's see how can we achieve this. Okay, to add an edge here in the middle, you can use the cut loop, it's right here. You can activate this option or you can hit Ctrl R. So I'm going to hit Ctrl R to add an edge. Now I have a preview of the edge. If I put the mouse on the this edge, I will have the preview right here. But if I put the mouse right there on that edge, the preview will take another direction. So I need to cut here. So just hit left click to confirm the cuts. If you move the mouse to the left or to the right, this edge will follow the mouse if you want to leave it in the center just hit right click to leave it in the center so now i got this new edge in the middle after that i will use bevel to bevel this edge so it can control b to bevel and as we learned we learned that bevel working on the edges for example i can bevel this and rotate the mouse uh, rotate the wheel to add segment here but don't forget the bevel working on flat uh, faces as well, not just the angles, for example, this one. So you can use bevel right here, control B and bevel, that's gonna work as well. And if you rotate the wheel, you're gonna add segment. So alt click to grab the entire edge loop, and then control B to bevel, and let's bevel this almost right here, something like this maybe. And now we got this result. After that, hit Control R again to add one edge here, and then hit left click to confirm it, and right click to leave it in the center, and bevel this as well. Control B and bevel this almost right here. Keep in mind to get a square result right here in this area. I mean, here. Keep this area square. All right. 
now we got this after that let's grab this face the strict to face mode hit number three grab this face and the hold shift and grab this one as well go to the front and then with these faces selected hit e to extrude and extrude those until they reach the surface of the ground right here hold shift you if you want to make the movement slowly and now we got this result so okay now we need to create a hole right here so uh, switch to the face mode grab this face and this face and here we have nice option inside this menu inside the edge menu it's called a bridge a group that's gonna break the two faces and create open area you can reach it from open uh, from uh, this uh, edge menu or you can hit control e to open the edge menu and choose a break edge loop when you choose it this is the result that you will get so that's cool now we got this result okay so now we finish this let's see now what else we can do okay now let's learn how to create the roof of this table i need to create it and let's see how can we do this i can start with this one i can extrude it for example like this and extrude it again hit here again and grab this face and extrude it all the way right here and do what i want to do i can do this but these new faces that i created will be linked to the to the to the white piece and i don't need that i need to uh separate it from it from this area all right let's see how can we do this i'm going to hit control z a couple times to cancel this with this face selected i can duplicate it duplicate this face alone to duplicate face you need to hit, you need to hit shift d from the keyboard and now we have a new copy but what i need is i need the new copy still in the same position i don't need to move it anywhere so now i have the new copy when i hit right click i will leave it in the same position so hit right click and there we go now we have it in the same position so now we have face above face all right now i need to uh, separate this face from the group because now it's still connected to the to the group to separate it you need to hit p from the keyboard to open the separate menu and then choose selection the first option separate the selection all right so now as you see now the color is changed so this means this new face is no longer part of uh, the wood tab out now and grab this alone so if you hit key now we have this alone right here now i need to give this a thickness it's very simple just tab to jump to the edit mode hit a to select the face and then e to extrude the face alone and just push this up just a little bit almost right here and then it can troll R to add an edge right here left click and move the mouse up until you reach this area something like this all right so now we got this result after that switch to the face mode hit number three grab this face and let's go to the front with this face selected hit E and extrude it almost maybe right here something like this and now we got this that's cool another control r to add an edge left click and move the mouse almost right here and then left click again to confirm it and after that switch to the face grab this hit e and go to the front hit number one from the numpad hit e to move this to the ground all right so that's very cool now is the time to create this piece of wood right here and this one here as well to do this I will start with this face that I have here what I will do is I will hit shift D to take a copy and now the new copy following the mouse I need to move it to the x-axis hit X from the keyboard and move it almost right here maybe something like this and then with this face selected hit E to extrude it 
and just give it a thickness like this and now we got this result you can keep it like this all right for this one right here what you can do you can grab this face that we have here and hit shift d to take a copy and then hit x to move it to the x and let's leave it right here in the middle and then hit p to separate and choose selection to separate the selection so now this one alone tab out and select this alone and then tab in to come to the edit mode hit a to select the whole face or you can switch to the face and just hit one click to select the face and then hit E to extrude and extrude this up to the Z almost right here and then you grab this face hit the G to move and move it to the X and let's move it almost right here you can hold here to make the movement slow and then from this side grab this hit G to the X and move this hold here to make the movement very slow and there we go tab out after that let's move this up hit G to the Z to move this up maybe right here okay so that's very cool that's very nice okay so this video is finished and this is how to create this table so that's will do it for this video and see you in the next one